Good morning. Good morning, Bells. Are you leaving already? Yes, I am. But I made breakfast for you guys. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I be big girl for life. Big head. <laughs> well, I'm heading to the airport now because mom needs to head back today. But if you need me to stay back later, I will. My girlfriend will be staying here for a while. She'll go to her place of work from here. Oh, that's really kind of her. I should say hello. She's still sleeping. Well, I guess I will see her some other time. You know I've not spent time with her. But she seems like a very nice person. She's really nice. I'll go see your mom now before she leaves. Um, okay? Great. Thanks. All right. Mama, good morning. Good morning, son. Yes, ma'am. How was the mm. night? Yeah, oh, it's okay. At least I was able to sleep this time. Oh, thank God. I'm glad to hear that. Mm. <laughs> it is well. May your mother's soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen to that. High blood pressure is very deadly. No one should take it for granted. You are very correct. You know she's been battling with this high blood pressure ever since your father died. And we all know how it affected her. At some point she thought she wouldn't have been able to take care of you. But she did. She's, she was a very strong woman. Donald, I want you to know that your mother was a very strong woman and she was so proud of you. Each time I visited her, she would always speak about how grateful she was to be your mother. I am also very grateful to be her son. Thank you, Bella. Mama, I would miss you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll miss you too, son. See, anytime Bella is traveling to come and see me, come with her. Okay? I will. I will send something to you. I still have your account number. No, Donald. You spent so much on the funeral. Mommy, you're wasting your time. Donald will send you the money, okay? Let's go. I don't want you to miss your Donald, account. don't send me any money. Mama. I'll be mad at you. Mom, no. Donald doesn't listen. He will do what he wants to do. But he listens to you. Tell him not to send me money. Uh -uh. It's not now. Mommy, let's go. Donald. <laughs> Mom, let's go. Don't send me any money. I've heard not you. now. Mom, yeah. let's go. Do you want to miss your flight? Let's go. Bella shows Bella. Oh my goodness. I hate it when you call me that. You're looking for trouble, right? Uh huh. And I'll give it back to you, boss boss. You know me now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It seems like you're in a good mood. Hmm. I'm happy. Anyway, I was calling to check on you. And Donald, my mom received the alert. You are too stubborn. Thanks for the compliment. Well, I guess you're doing okay. Yeah, so I'm happy. And I'm still at work. You're still at the office at this time? Mm-hmm. I'm working late because I I have to make up for the days I wasn't around. Oh, I see. I understand. It reminds me, when am I seeing you now, babe? How about that guy that you met on the flight? 
well um we couldn't see each other you know because of the funeral but we spoke yesterday and we are going on a date tomorrow very very bad <laughs> see you <laughs> <laughs> Silly you. I'm going to be seeing you this weekend. All right, please. Yeah, I'll be expecting you. You should come and cook that your vegetable soup for me. You know how much I love it. I hope you prepare it when you come. Of course. You know you can always count on me. It's my girl. I'm oh, my short baby, but now. Bella, shall Bella. <laughs> <laughs> you this yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> Bye. All right, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh, okay. It was I. <clears throat> Why are you staring at me like that? Is there something on my face? <laughs> are you aware that you're very pretty? Is that why you can't keep your eyes off me? No. Oh. That's not the only reason why I can't keep my eyes off you. Okay. What else? The other first time I saw you on the plane, I was lost for work and in thoughts. And I said to myself that I haven't seen eyes as dazzling as yours. Thank you, Harry. So, I want to keep staring at them. How can I make that happen? What do you mean? You're my kind of woman. I want you in my life. Are you asking me to be your girlfriend? <laughs> Don't just smile. Say it. Bella, please, be my girlfriend. But you barely know me. Yeah, true. Which is why I want to be there for you. I want to protect you. Let me love you unconditionally. I know it's, um, I don't want to look like we're in a rush. I can take it a step at a time. You won't be disappointed, I promise you. You remember I told you that um, I had a relationship of three years that ended badly? Yeah, sure, I remember. I don't want to have a repeat of that. I devoted myself to him for three years and yet he broke up with me because he wanted hey, to... Hey, Miller. I am not interested to know why he broke up with you. The most important thing here is how I feel about you. I know he's, it sounds too good to be true, but it's the truth. And it feels like love at first sight, but please, can you give me a chance? I need to hear the word. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Say it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, good day. The MD told me to come here and introduce myself. I'm Sophie. Oh, Sophie. Uh, yes, the MD informed me you'll be resuming work today. You're the new contract staff. Yes, sir. Everyone here except the receptionist refers to me as Donald. I'll prefer that. No problem. 
Good. He also informed me that I should show you around. Are you free? Yes, I'm free. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Let me tidy my table. Okay. Uh, except you want to sit and wait. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll wait for you at the lobby. I'll join you shortly then. My door was locked here. Yeah? How did you get in? Oh, I used my key. I have a spare. Oh, I didn't know that. Donald didn't tell me that. Well, he probably forgot to tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. He's not home. Is he expecting you? Well, um, I didn't call him, but he told me to come over for the weekend and prepare vegetable soup for him. <laughs> it's no trouble at all. I already made dinner and enough for both of us for the weekend, so no. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. I'll just prepare it and keep it in the fridge and then he can eat it later. By the way, girl, you are looking really good. <laughs> anyway, let me just rush to the kitchen and get started, okay? Right. Sorry. Excuse me. So, dear, that is a basic tour of our beloved company. <laughs> Thanks for taking your time to show me around. You're welcome. Uh, how long will you be working here? Um, six months. I actually work with different brands. Once my tenure is over here, I'll recommence with another company. Hmm. Very splendid. But I advise that you do what you came here to do, which is to work, but at the same time, enjoy every moment. Make some friends. <laughs> I might start with you. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Right. Okay. Um, Ruth. Ruth, it's fine. Don't worry, okay? I can handle this. It's fine. I don't need you to stress yourself. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, no, it's, it's not a problem. It's fine. I can just... No, no, no. It's okay. I insist. It's okay. It's fine. I can handle it. Okay. What about the pepper and the onions? No, everything is okay. Don't worry. It's, okay. it's fine. I do this all the time for Donald. It's fine. Let me know when you're ready to eat dinner so that I can dish it out for you. Oh, don't worry. I'll just wait for Donald to come first. All right, thank you. <laughs> this girl and these her lines, man. <laughs> it is so funny. Oh my gosh. Um, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Hmm? Are you not enjoying the movie? I could change it if you don't like it. No, it's okay. Are you sure? It's okay, it's okay. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. <laughs> I almost forgot like you could come. Thank goodness you are here. I really come. missed you. I missed you too, big head. Uh, did you? Mm -hmm. Are you so, so, so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hey, darling. How are you? Mm -hmm. You good? Mm -hmm. hey, how's my today? You know what? Mm -hmm. How far with the vegetable soup that you promised me? I already prepared it and it's in the fridge. Why is it in the fridge? Because I made our dinner before she came. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Look, don't worry. You eat it tomorrow. I am eating the vegetable soup tonight. Do you know how long I've been yearning for it? We'll eat her food tomorrow morning. Is that okay? <laughs> Good then. Let me just go up and shower, okay? I'll be all right, back. all right. You. <laughs> <It's> you. <laughs> I'll deal with you. Don't make me break my life. Go away. Go, I'll see you. Go. I'll deal with you when you come. I'll cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stop acting so clumsy. <laughs> Jesus, God. I will deal with you next time you do that again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Donald. Hmm? Sorry, like, I don't know. Are you okay with us having the vegetable soup tonight? I could actually convince him so we can have yours instead. Yeah, it's okay. Um, whatever he says, we can eat your vegetable tonight. And then we'll eat my own soup tomorrow. It's okay. Okay, let me just head over to the kitchen. I'll be in the kitchen. Vegetable soup is everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? She needs to give you her secret recipe oh and also teach you how to prepare it. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's very good. <laughs> ah! I miss this vegetable. <clears throat> Can I get more soup? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Mm. I'm going to go to the kitchen and get more. Put like two more meats inside. Look at your head. Two more meats, what? I'll get the nicest. Two more meats. If I knock you, eh? Shut up. Is it because your food is sweet? <laughs> Baby, I'm not eating. Okay. Hurry up now. Here you go. Ah, ah. You're patient now. Patient for what? Uh-uh. You didn't put extra meat. Eat, so I'll give you another one later. A four one nine girl. It's that one. Which four one nine? Eat. See you. Bella Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Trust you. You can never change. Mm -mm. <coughs> you know, I can't change from your food. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Baby, eat now. I'm eating. I'm eating. I want you to Hey, Harry. <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? Um, look, I wanted us to talk over the phone. But right now, I think that we should see instead and talk. Oh, okay. You send me the address. All right then, cool. I'll see you shortly then. All right, later, bye. <laughs> wow, this guy is really good with words. Donald, he blew my mind. See this one? <laughs> so you're falling for him? Please, I really. You better tell the guy to come and appease the gods. Uh -uh. I would have told him about me. And what's there to tell? Bella shows Bella. Don't tell me you've not told him about me. It seems like you're going nuts this afternoon. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't like that name? Don't call me that name. If you're expecting me to give you a sexy nickname or a name that you love. <laughs> Girl, you're dreaming. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Not to worry. I'm going to look for a very ugly nickname for you. Just wait. If you like, call me Dracula. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, mm -hmm. talk to me. Do you think that you're ready to date again? So now, to be honest, I thought I was going to be single for a long time until Harry came along. You know, he seems to be a very great guy, so yeah, I'm willing to give him a shot. <laughs> I just hope this new guy 
does not give you a condition? No, I doubt it. You know, Harry is not that type of guy. He's not the type to monitor me around or tell me who to be friends with or tell me who I can visit or who I can't visit. He doesn't have the time for that. Hmm. Nah. Interesting. Okay. Wait, are you trying to call him? Please. <laughs> hey, now wow. Wait, 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 Donna, well, the thing is, talking about Harry right now just made me realize how much I want to be with someone like him. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I do hope he makes you happy. I hope so too. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'll just go inside and call him, okay? Bella, shut <laughs> Bella. You are. Uh... Just shut up. Okay. Ah, babe. Babe, seriously speaking, I... I don't like it when you're silent and unfriendly. It tells me that there's something on your mind. You can talk to me, what is it? Did I do something wrong? What gave you the audacity to tell Bella last night that she should teach me how to cook her vegetable soup? Do you know how embarrassing it was for me last night? I didn't mean to insult you. I don't think it's a big deal if Bella teaches you how to make her vegetable soup. It doesn't mean you cannot cook. I don't need Bella to teach me how to make her vegetable soup. Okay, is this is the reason why you were very distant last night? Because you felt insulted? Don't tell her to teach me how to cook anything. Don't call my name in your conversation. Don't, don't say my name. Can you, can you talk about something and don't call my name? Don't tell her to teach me anything. Okay. Noted. Your wish is my command. Next time I feel like eating her vegetable soup, I would either go to her house or I will invite her here to come and cook it for me. You will not try it. Excuse me. You heard me. I am your woman, the only woman you have in your life. If you want vegetable soup, I will prepare vegetable soup for you to eat. But I never said you cannot prepare your vegetable soup for me to eat. I'm just saying that I love the taste of her own. I don't care. I don't I don't. I don't care. Okay. What if it's a chef? No, hmm? it's different. It is not different. Look, my mother... I mean, my late mother... She used to invite Bella over to cook for her. She loved her stew. So I really... I don't think it's a big deal. It doesn't stop me from loving you. Babe. Babe. I don't want us to keep, you know, talking about this. Like if we keep talking, we're going to argue. And I don't want it. I just have one thing to ask you. Okay? And I'm, I'm not going to take no. I'm just going to tell me yes to that. Okay? All right. What is it? Babe, do you love me? You know I love you. Am I the only girlfriend you have in the whole wild Come world? On, babe, you know this. Babe, I want you to prove it to me that I am your girlfriend. I didn't like the way Bella came into our house unannounced. Like she didn't knock, she didn't ring the doorbell, she just she just walked in like she owns the place. Babe, I want you to collect our spare key from her.
Hold on, I'm coming. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Um, I mean, yeah. And... Welcome. Welcome to my small space. <laughs> um, Seat. Thank you. Wow. You have a beautiful home. Your words are kind. <laughs> Thanks. Um, sorry, were you expecting someone else? No. Why? Hold oh, a drink. It's for us, actually. Let's me. Oh, no, no, not yet. Um, Harry, I would um, like us to talk about us first before having a drink. Talk about us? Interesting. Um, well, um, I've been thinking about us being together. As a couple? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, don't celebrate yet. Hold on. Um, Harry, I have a best friend. Okay. A male bestie. And I love him so much. Okay. And um, have you guys been intimate? Oh, no. No, never. We grew up together. Uh, then it's fine. I trust you. You do? Yes. Yes, I appreciate the fact that you're telling me about him. He goes to show that you value me and you respect me. And trust me, I don't take that for granted. Thank you. In fact, I would like to meet him. Oh, he would actually love to meet you too. Um, you know what? Okay. We could actually go on a double date. Double dates, mm -hmm. which means he's also in a relationship, <laughs> which makes everything better. <laughs> <laughs> this calls for celebration, actually. Um, I wish you can open up my heart to see, <laughs> to feel how excited I am. And um, there is something I wanted to tell you. Bella, mm -hmm. I have always wanted to say this to you. I should have done this before now, but I don't know how to do it or how to say it. But now we're having this conversation, I feel it's best I just do it. You know, it's one thing to fall in love. And it's another thing to decide to love someone. The thing with falling in love means that you can fall out. And the thing with deciding to love someone means that you love them regardless of who they are, where they're from, their flaws, whatever situation they find themselves. Which is why I have decided to love you. I cherish you. Let me take care of you. I'll protect you. Let me be your earthly guardian angel. Please. My goodness, um... Harry, you are so romantic. I am not sure <laughs> of ever for you I would be. Wow. <laughs> Goodness. Um. <laughs> You're speechless, right? Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's a blushing smile for me, actually. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get to the drinks. Actually. All right. Yeah. For your outfit, though. Thank you. Your skin color. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Babe, let's go to bed. Let's go and sleep. No, I cannot sleep. Maybe she decided to spend the night. There's not a big deal. But you were here when she promised you would return today. Guy we're talking about is her boyfriend. Maybe they wanted to spend time together. It's okay. She hasn't been picking her calls. And now her phone number is switched off. Mm. Hey. I hope you guys know you kidnap her. Hey. Wherever she is, she's safe. She's okay. This girl is not going to give me hypertension. She's not going to give me high blood pressure. I'm your girl. I mean. Baby, can you just focus? 
What is wrong with you? Where are you coming from? You're not going to kill me before my time. I've been calling your phone number, but it's switched off. Calm down. Do I look like I'm shaking? Am I vibrating? And Bella Donut has been worried about you. I know he's late. He called your number, you were not picking. Then he called again, he was switched off. What happened? Look, Donut, I am really sorry, okay? It was not intentional. When you called, my phone was in my bag and I did not realize it was ringing. Are you okay? Let's go to sleep. You tried to call me to tell me what? I hope you weren't planning to pass the night there. No. There was traffic. It was a standstill. I could not get a cab to come here, so he had to drive me down here. You could have told him to come in and pass the night here. I suggested it, but he refused. All right. I'm just happy that you go back safe. Good night. All right, good night. Babe, I'm here. You he left me here. But let's go to the room now. Can I go to bed? I remember that you told me that the time you and Bella spent apart was when you went for your youth service. Yeah, that's correct. So, what about when she went for her own youth service? <sighs> well, she was... She was sent to Joss. Her mother didn't want her to be far away, so she got redeployed to Lagos. She served at a secondary school close to where I worked back then. Uh huh. Okay. What is it? Mm, okay. So, um, what was the reason? Why did her ex-boyfriend break up with her? What was the actual reason? Why are you asking? Nothing. I'm just, I'm just making conversation. We're just talking. I just want to know. Is there a problem? No, no. It's... So what is it? What happened? What happened between them? Bella and her ex-boyfriend? I don't know, but I know he was a controlling freak. Is that what, like, did she tell you that exactly? Did she tell you that's why they broke up? Even if she had told me, does it make any difference? No. No, it's nothing. It's okay. Don't forget to collect our specky from her, okay? You don't have to remind me. I don't forget things easily. I don't know. I mean, when it comes to Bella, you always have your memory. What was that supposed to mean? Something. Good night, come here. Good night. Good night. Hey, let's go, dear. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Come on, get out. Uh -huh. Who's cheating? Oh, I'm the one that is cheating, right? Please play well, Joe. What is wrong with you? You know I will still win now. Why, why are you shaking? To win. <laughs> you know eventually I'll win this game. Mm, win fire, Oga Donatus. All right, play well, Joe. Come. Who is Oga Donatus? You now. Me? Yes. Okay, I'm not playing again. Uh -uh. What's this? Oh, because you know that I'm going to be, you cannot accept defeat. Who told me you so your new name is going to be Shame on you. you. Who told me you win? I win. The lashes, the lashes. Oh, the lashes, the lashes. Oh, I say if you call me that name one more time, I will beat you like a baby. Oh, ga, do, na. Eh, just... So you have liver, Abby. Just, Try. just pause. Abby. Why? You have liver. Why? 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 Uh, yeah, of course we can. They catch you. Eh? Go and meet your woman, Joe. Ah! Leave me! Leave me! What is all this now? Yeah, yeah, man. Look at you. Old man. Go away. Like two peas in a pod. 
So inseparable. What we see is a bird. Unbreakable. But there are certain lines that you just don't cross. I'm frustrated. Why are you staring at me like that? What's on your mind? It's it's about my my specky. Okay, what about it? Is it is it possible that I get it back? You want me to give you back your spare keys? Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? It's Ruth, right? Why does she want me to return the spare keys? It's not like she lives here permanently. Oh, it seems she's not ready to leave anymore. You know what? It's fine. She's your girlfriend, so... Hey. Hey. Please, don't be angry with me. I am not angry. Listen, maybe we should just, you know, give each other some space. Space? Why should we give each other space? It hasn't come to that. For what? Donald, listen, I'm not saying that we will not see each other, okay? But we are both in relationships now and I just think we should have some boundaries. So, I guess it's safe to say that I would also be needing my spare keys as well. Come on, Bella. I thought you said you're not angry. I am not angry, Donald, but I have a boyfriend. And I don't think he's going to be comfortable if he finds out that you have my spare keys to my place and he doesn't. Look, I didn't argue with you on this, okay? And um, so let's not, you know, debate on it. Okay? Keys. Fine. I'll give you the keys first thing in the morning before you leave. There are certain lines that you just don't cross. I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. Am I losing you this time? It's a blue for me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, babe, that reminds me. You've never mentioned when I am going to meet with your best friend. Oh. I thought you wanted us to have like a double date. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him about it and then we'll set up a date. Okay, at least keep me posted so I can clear up my schedule on time. Okay, sure, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you just stop your time that you here, actually. It's reminding me of one superstar actress like that. Don't you know? even start. Don't try me. Don't <laughs> okay. even try me. Speaking of talent, Seth, you've never even shown me any talent of yours. Uh, you know? What talent again? Uh, show me something. I'll just entertain me. What's that football? Bad is entertainment. Yeah, see who's watching football. <laughs> Can you play? Well, you never know. Oh, well, I'll get bored of you. <laughs> 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 yeah, come in. Hi, Donald. Hi, Sophie. I was coming to your office and... I hope there's no problem. Oh, no. It's lunchtime and I was thinking we should go have lunch together. Maybe some other time. I'm actually on my way to have lunch with my girlfriend and my best friend. I have to pick them both. <laughs> That's okay. I'll be heading home from there. I won't be coming back to the office. Donald, it's fine. I understand. Maybe some other time. Yeah, sure. Of course. Thank you. 
Hey, honey. Hey. Oh my God. Finally. I know. I am. Like you kept me with. Listen, I am. What happened? I am so sorry. Okay. Um, I had to meet up with two of my clients okay. last minute. That's why I had to call you to make an order for the four of us. I am really sorry. I thought as much because mm -hmm. it's very unlikely to come late on purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, babe, yeah. meet my best friend Donald Badmont. Yeah. Donald, meet the man in my life. Harry very bad. Um, <laughs> my love here spoke to me about you, so it's a pleasure to meet with you, Donald. Same Donald. here. It's a pleasure meeting you, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> and this here is his lovely girlfriend, Ruth. She's pretty. <laughs> oh yeah, she is. Nice to meet you too, Ruth. <laughs> Someone is shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So introduction done and dusted. So can we eat? Of course oh, not. There was a guard drain for. <laughs> I actually placed the order you oh, okay. asked me to do over the phone wait, wait, for four hours actually. Um, where is she? Waiter, come, come, come. Yeah, just stop. Bring them. Yeah. So. How was your meeting with the client again, Julie? Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about any meetings right now. I just want to eat. I know. I'm right. so hungry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. Why do you look beautiful? Thank you. So, um, I guess it's for you, right? Hey, how are you? That's nice. What's that? Um, I forgot my name. They called it. I guess <laughs> your name. Here. I just placed something the way to drink since I've been waiting for you. Actually, <laughs> thank you. Yes, it's chicken. I know you don't like it. Mine is turkey. Would you prefer mine? If you don't mind. Come on. When it comes to you, I don't mind. Oh, thank you. Oh. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you to your daddy. Would you <laughs> please stop? But wait. Okay. I'm going to finish that chicken. No, I won't finish it. I will give everything to you. See your mouth. Look at yours. Look at you. Give me a little, little, little joke. <laughs> Don't try me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so, so hungry. <laughs> How much is your plantain plenty? Girl, I can take the plantain one. Then I'll take yours. I'll take yours too. If you take mine, I'll take yours. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. mm. mm. Why you here? Why you here? Turn out. Yeah. What do you take me for? Sorry, I don't get you. You can never get me. I'm referring to you exchanging your food with Bella. Saying, oh, as long as it's you. <laughs> what if it was me? If it were you, I wouldn't mind at all. I would exchange mine with yours. Please. Do not disrespect me. No. Please. I have never disrespected you. Do I remind you that you asked me to collect my spare key from Bella? Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. And guess what? 
he didn't change her attitude towards you. So what exactly do you want from me? I want your attention. I want all of it. Give me all of it. I deserve it. I am your one and only girlfriend. I don't want to have to share it with Bella. I don't even like that I'm saying her name. I'm not this kind of a person talking about another woman. Like two peas in a pod, so inseparable. What we she is a bird, unbreakable. Love for me. Love only me. I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. Am I losing you this time? Can't hold on to too tight. Don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands, no. It's hard to see. What was that? What? You don't know what you've done? I don't think I have done anything wrong. I thought you accepted my apology for not coming on time. Ben, I am talking about the drama you and your friend acted out there today. That was unnecessary. I still don't understand what you're talking about. What drama? You knew you don't eat chicken. Why didn't you tell me? Harry, I eat chicken. I just don't like it that much. I prefer turkey. I don't know knew about it. Maybe if he wasn't there, I would have eaten the chicken or informed you. Is there not going to be a problem? No. Then why was he trying so hard to prove to me that he knew you better than I did? As a matter of fact, rubbing it on my face. Come on, sweetheart. Listen, he didn't mean any harm, okay? He was just trying to show that he cares. But that's not his job. It's my responsibility to show you care. Besides, his girlfriend was seated next to him. You should show her that care. But he is my best friend and he considers me his sister. But so you guys are not related by blood. Come on, Harry, don't say that. I love you. But I don't want to be in competition with Donald for your love. I am your boyfriend now and you should back off. Good morning. Wake up. Babe. Mm. <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning, honey. I made breakfast. What did you do? <coughs> so romantic of you. Thank you. Here you go. Let me help you. Oh. Careful. Sorry. Come in. <laughs> oh, you went this far. <laughs> um. Oh, my head. Sorry. Yeah. Um, babe, I. I want to use this opportunity, to apologize on Donald's behalf. He did not mean to make you feel that way. I know. Actually, I thought of it before I slept off last night. So it's fine. Listen, I'm going to have a conversation with him and he's going to apologize to you, okay? Hey, Donald isn't obligated to apologize. You've said it all. He did not make me feel that way on purpose. He was only acting based on your friendship with him. I understand better now. So? Babes, thank you so much for being such an amazing person. Anything to make you happy. <laughs> So now let's eat. Okay. What you made. Okay. Without sleeping. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So you go first. Thank you. Go eat, babe. Oh, come <laughs> off. Before you know it, you don't know how to say I'm not treating you well. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like I always report to the Donald now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just joking. Okay, so. Try it. 
Yeah. Everyone needs your colors, actually. <laughs> the multicolor. Oh, no. Alright. As long as you like it. <laughs> you like weird and abstract, abstract things. You know you need to be concentrating on this movie, right? Hmm. Your phone is ringing. Don't worry, let it ring. I'll call the person later. I want to enjoy this moment with you. I want to enjoy this moment with you too. <laughs> I want zero shower so she can straight on the movie. <laughs> so we cannot be romantic in peace again. You might not have some cable. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's that? That's in my language from my place with a glory. Ah. The beauty of a woman. That's my baby. Oh, okay. Asam. Asam pete. Ah, ah. Gubim. Ah, ah. Madam Micham. Madu. Oh, 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 You like them? Lady or Ramma. Madu. What does that one mean? As, a, 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 the other one, what did it mean? Lady or Ramma. Mother of the whole universe. Wow. Yes, that's that's who you are to me. Goodness, where could this girl be now? She will never keep her phone beside her. She will be in the west, her phone will be in the south. Where are you trying to go? Bella. Bella. Could it be that she's avoiding my calls? I won't be surprised because that girl is capable of so many things. You know Bella could be sleeping right now. Have you thought about that? You might be right. Mm -hmm. I guess she will call me back when she sees my missed calls. Donald, I noticed something about you. You noticed what? I noticed that anytime you're around Bella, you act like a child. Like the both of you behave like kids. You act like anybody around the both of you at that time do not matter. Like you're, you're, you're in your own space. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you walking out on me right now? What else do you expect me to do? I want you to admit that what I'm saying is the truth, that I am not lying. I never said you were lying. Then admit that it's the truth. I'm still behaving like a shameless man. You have no idea what it feels like to be an only child. You're lucky you have siblings. I was alone. Lonely. Especially after I lost my father. Bella occupied that loneliness. She acted like a shield. So yes, I behave like a child when I'm around her. Are you crying again? How are you? Are you thinking about your dad? No. No, stop lying. I knew you missed him. Look, I missed mine too. That's why he did when I was a baby. And we promised each other that whenever I am dying to come to me, and whenever you are done, I will come to you. But I don't want to be a burden. But I know you can never be a burden to me. You know you are my best friend, and we have each other. Donald, you know you are like a brother to me, and I love you. You are like a sister to me too, and I love you. And I'm sorry I didn't come to meet you. Always come to meet me whenever you are done. Okay, Bella, she's Bella. Yes, come on. Never knew, never knew that I loved you this much. Oh, it's hard to see you go. It's hard to see you go. In another's arms 
All of my life, I know you. My best friend, if he even comes. Hey. What were you smiling about? I didn't know you were here. When did you come in? I walked in, stood, waved, sat down. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, do not. Um, please, I just want to say one thing. I want to tell you that I don't want you to feel like I'm being insecure in this relationship. Okay? I'm just... I just want to protect it. I just want to protect what we have. It's okay to protect our relationship. But not in that way. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to Bella. I love her. But not that way. I'm in love with you. I love you so much. I love you. And I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. As long as you understand me. Yeah, I understand you. Good. I get you. I get you. So can you tell me what's making you smile? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Why not? Well... I was thinking about the past. Oh. How the death of my father made me lonely. Mm. I didn't tell Bella about it. But somehow, she knew it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's, uh, that's very nice of her. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm here now. And... I want to know everything. In fact, I know some, but you know, everything. <laughs> I've taken over. Yeah. I have taken over. You have taken over my heart. Why everything? Why everything? Are you missing? Go ahead. Are you scared of me? Oh, you, you. Uh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Uh, Babe, which one do you prefer? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> you play. Uh, I should uh, school uh, you, bro. Let's see what you've got. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, I'm going to show you that, my guy. My shot is three. Still have one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, go. You serious? Still mm -hmm. okay. so now, Mr. Admos? Is this you? Bella Samson. <laughs> What's up, babe? Oh, God. Oh, God. We look in a long God. time, you know. Look at you. both of you. Wow. How have you been? Oh, I wish I can say I'm fine. Or I've been fine. I've been divorced twice and still searching for Miss Perfect. But you still look great, though. Oh, don't flatter me. The both of you look better together. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the day this guy casted us. He told your mom and my mom where we were when they were searching for us. That's <laughs> true. You I mean, almost beat us up. We had to run away. Listen, my mom got tired of chasing after me. When we got home, she did not even beat me anymore. Same with my mom. You. But she punished me the next day, though. Oh, th thank God you weren't beaten up. <laughs> I mean, end of story. Mm. <laughs> Come on. I really am not surprised to see the both of you still happy together. You know, considering how close you were back there. Uh, you, you, your love story was the envy of all. I mean, it was best described as the kind of love designed by God himself. <laughs> this girl cannot do without me. Because this friendship is for eternity. <laughs> Baby girl for life. Friendship? Yeah. L let me see your fingers. You, you mean you're both not married to each other yet? Come on, man. Oh, no. 
But, but, but I thought you were both in love. Oh, this is sad. I mean, you're both too perfect together to be just friends. Listen, um, actually, oh. Donald and I are in serious relationships, mm -hmm. okay? Those are our partners over there. Oh, oh you mm -hmm. so you talk too much. See, see I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please. Forgive my big mouth. <laughs> I, I thought they were just your friends. Um, nice to meet you both. Mm -hmm. uh, well, seriously. I really thought you were both gonna end up together. I mean, look at how perfect you you, you are together. A, a perfect match made in heaven. But what can I say? Man proposes and God disposes, right? We are best of friends. We cannot go beyond that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Time, my darling. Time. Only time will tell. Because as a serial divorcee, I can tell that I've not had a marriage this close to what you both have mm -hmm. and still call friendship. Serial divorcee, that's the first time I'm hearing that word. Oh, come on. Well, 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 well let me just, let me get your contact. Yeah, sure. sure. Oh, I wouldn't want to miss out when it's time to eat your party jollof rice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not Okay, um, we could do, this is mine. Is that okay? Thank you. Okay. Good. Want to join us again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It was sure. Job. Yes. Yes, it is. But I'm going to beat you to it. You know? No, we are fine. We are fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't mind him. Let's <laughs> just do um, no. pot in there. Maybe you can just chill like after this moment is cold. Okay. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I'll just watch from here. So where are we? Ruth, please. Whatever that guy was saying back there. Please, just don't take it to heart. I don't know why he would be saying such things to us after meeting us for the first time after so many years. It's very insensitive. What was he trying to prove? Please, just ignore him, okay? He's used to talking too much. He still talks too much. If he had me. Thank God it's today he met me. <laughs> Listen, okay, just, just ignore him, okay? Save your energy. It's not worth it. <laughs> mm, if he meets me next time. Ruth, there won't be a next time. Please, just, just cheer up, okay? Do not mm. let someone you barely know change your mood. Having a great time, you were smiling before he came. I was smiling at the game. I was. It's fine, okay? It's okay, all right? Let's just, listen, I'm sure he's almost done with Donna. Like, let's just go back there and have fun, okay? Please, just cheer up, okay? Please. Like two peas in a it's okay. Pod. Just cheer up, so inseparable. all right? All we see is a bird, unbreakable. If there are certain lines that you just don't cross, I'm frustrated. Mm. To be honest, if I wasn't a patient man, I would have asked that or now of a guy to just shut his mouth. I knew you were holding back. Why, why, why would he say such a thing in front of Ruth and I? I don't know. I, I really don't know why he would do he that. He better not try it again. He shouldn't even try and mention that in front of me again. Look, I told Ruth to ignore him and I think that you should too. Very convenient of you to say. What if he mentions it again that you and Donald are perfect for each other? Come on, Harry. You are my man and not Donald. He's just a friend. Uh, <clears throat> I am reacting this way because I love you. And I love you too. You do? Of course, sweetheart, I do. Come here. Uh, are you expecting? That must be Donald. Ah, and I mean, it's Donald again. I mean, I will just focus on what you're doing. I... I'll get it all. Okay, babe, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. Oh. Hey, hey, um, Donald. <laughs> Welcome. How you doing, Harry? It's good yeah. to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome. Um, please have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Miss Bella. <clears throat> so, how are you doing? Welcome, Donald. Mm. 
Which one is? It's actually funny to me. Don't be kidding, John. That's how he calls me sometimes. Okay. Okay. Alright, baby. Okay. <laughs> the funny guy. Come on, now you started it. Come on, sit down. How oh, far you, eh? You. Yo, you are my lady. Why are you pushing me like lady, that? You, you, you're a man. Stop deceiving yourself, oh. Wow. Just wow. Anyway, how is Ruth? Uh, Ruth is fine. She's okay. She's actually at her place of work. Okay. I'll pick her up on my way home. Oh wow. Well, it looks like she's not ready to leave anytime soon. Yeah. She hasn't told me exactly when she's leaving. Okay. That reminds me. What? Have I told you about Sophia? No. What about her and who is she? Well, Sophia is a new contract staff at my company. Okay. Although I don't really know her intention towards me, but this is the second time that she's asking me out to lunch with her. Well, maybe she just wants to be a friend and nothing more. Funny enough, I brought up the idea to her about making friends. And when she mentioned her, she might start with me, I, I thought she was joking. I don't want to lead anyone on. Oh. Wait, did you have lunch with her today? No, I gave her an excuse. Although I gave her my phone number. But the thing is, I, I don't think I want to go to lunch with her. Come on, Donald, don't make her feel bad. Come on, the only way you're going to know her intentions is if you go to lunch with her. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Bella, I don't want any problem with Ruth. Then tell Ruth about her. I mean, after all, you said she's only a temporary colleague or something like that. She's not going to work with you guys for long. Which one is temporary colleague? Are you the one that said that she's a contracted hired oh, worker oh. or something like that? I mean, don't even stress yeah, me. Don't yeah. stress my brain. Shut up, girl. What's the worry? You. What's uh -uh. the problem? What's it? With you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Always from me. I'll kick you. Everything now is Harry, 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 Harry. That's the only thing in your head now. Love is shocking you, Abby. <laughs> Bella, shows Bella. You. <laughs> okay. Mm. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bella, the food is as delicious as always. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Sir Bells. Thank you. Anyway, before I forget, I'm thinking of going to see my mom. And I felt I should let you know, considering what she said, remember? Yeah, I do remember. And what did your mom say? Well, she said, um, whenever I'm planning on going to see her, I should bring Donald along as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should come with you too. Really? Yes. You want to travel with me? I think it's time I meet with your mom. She should see the man that you're dating. Oh, babe, that is so sweet. <clears throat> you know what? I want to go by air. Mm -mm, no. I think we should go by road. I'll convince Ruth to come with us. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fun. I'll drive. Oh, road it is then. Listen, look, I don't think it's a good idea for us to go by road. Why? I mean, considering all the atrocities happening lately, I don't think it's safe. Well, fair enough. You know what? I'm going to let you guys know when I book our fights. All right? No problem. Whatever. Madam has spoken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Settle. I know you always have your ways, though. <laughs> no, you know I was asking you something before. Oh, baby. Oh, Come my on. God. Wow. <laughs> That's between us. A secret. I'll tell you the story behind that. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're going now, sir. Donald, your phone is ringing. Your phone is ringing. Yeah, Who is Sophia? She's a colleague. Why is she calling you? Could I at least pick it up so I can find out? You see? Cho cho cho. What well, you know cho 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 into? Hello, Sophia. Yeah, I'm still traveling tomorrow. 
No, it's no longer in my office. I handed it over to the manager. Just pick it up from the manager. I'll review it when I get back. Okay, thanks. Do you still want to find out why she called? I mean, it's work, obviously, so yeah. But my question is, why is she calling your phone? Why can't she send you an email? I hate to say this, but you are beginning to sound like a nag. Because I'm demanding to know why your colleague is not being professional. Is she even meant to call your phone? Yes. Is she meant to dial this, this in your mobile phone while you're at home? She's allowed to call me. If she sends a mail, I'll have to check it when I get back from the trip. I hope you packed your things. I don't want us to miss our flight. Exactly. I've dashed the point. I've packed my things. Ah. Uh, the audacity for her to now call your phone to tell you about work. Hope food is ready because I'm famished. I'm talking. I'll wait at the dining. I'm waiting. I said we should go by road. I said we should go by road. I don't have bad moss. I even volunteered to drive the car. When Madame Bella here, she said no, that we should go by air. Now, because of her, we've missed our flights. Why do you enjoy blaming me whenever we make mistakes? What? What's this woman talking about? Who are we? You and I. You must be out of your mind. You're obviously not thinking properly. You're talking nonsense. You don't have any sense. Can you hear your girlfriend? She's telling a grown man that he doesn't have sense. No, please, do not interfere. This is between my friend and I. You insulted my boyfriend. I am not comfortable with Babe, you. Even my boyfriend. Please, stay out of this. You know the problem I have with you? The fact that you never take responsibility for your actions. See who is talking about taking responsibility of one's action. Yes, I am right. I'm always covering for you. Do I have to remind you of how many times that you arrived late at a very important family occasion? I've lost count of how many times you kept me waiting. Oh, please close out your smelling mouth, always spilling nonsense. Go and brush. Can you hear your girlfriend again? She's telling me in my own house that she showed up my smelling mouth. My mouth is smelling, right? Don't know. Okay. So I sincerely apologize. I think Bella and I should just go lodge in our talk with this, please. No, 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 no. It's fine. You can, you can pass the night here. Uh, That's why I suggested that you should come here with her. Uh, so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to meet her. Yeah, when you get upstairs, just call out her name calmly. She'll come out. What? And you guys are close. But you shouldn't have insulted him. But he insulted me first. How did he turn that his mouth was smelling? Because his mouth was smelling of arrogance. Bella, you left us waiting at the airport. So can I apologize for it? Okay, and it will not happen again. He just came back home and he started shouting at me. Anyway. You guys should just take it easy and find your way to sort things out. Well, if he likes, he should not take it easy. That's his business. This your boss, boss. You're really blowing hot, hot, though. Oh. And I'm not seeing the side of you. Don't mind, Donald. Like, he can be so annoying sometimes. Well, you get bad mouth, shall Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does all his mouth to speak. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. Okay. Anyway, whenever you're done, I'll be waiting for you here. Okay. Like two peas in a pod, so inseparable. What we she is a bird, unbreakable. But there are certain lines that you just don't cross. Frustrated. Mm -hmm. Am I losing you this time? 
Can't hold on to too tight. Don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands, no. It's hard to see you go in another's arms. Never knew, never knew that I loved you this much. Oh, it's hard to see you go. It's hard to see you go in another's arms. All of my life, I've known you. My best friend, safe haven, comfort. I'm so jealous you are someplace else. Happy without me. Oh no. What? Can't I eat in peace in my house? Why are you eating at this time? It's late. How's it any of your business? Is it your teeth I'm using to chew? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Ashamed of myself? I can eat in my house at any time. Well. Don't start complaining when you start having a pot belly. I would not complain to you. Is it your pot belly? Just take your eyes off me. I know the one looking at me. I am looking at you because you are looking at me. If you like I me from today till tomorrow, it will not change anything. I'm not going to apologize to anybody. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Bella says Bella. See who's judging me. Oh. How many times have I told you not to call me that name? Bella says Bella. Just so stop it. Bella says no. Bella. Do your work. Don't call me that. You can't do anything. Don't call me that. You can't do anything. What is it? Hmm? Don't call me that. See you. Why are you eating now? But wait, don't. You come and have this kind of nice biscuit. Down. Nice biscuits. You've not apologized to me, so I'm not talking to you. Do you think I'll apologize? You better do. Are you sure? You don't have my food. Wait, every moment I apologize. Mm, apologize. I apologize. Mm -hmm. You know I apologize. You, know I you messed up. You messed up. Yeah. Mm. I'm See you. You're a thief. No, I apologize. You're a big thief. I apologize. Bella, you were born a thief, and you always be a thief. What is your bloodline? Stop. <laughs> oh, this girl. Never you were. Never knew that I loved you this much. Oh, it's hard to see you go. Bella. Bella. It's hard to see you go in another's arms. Bella. All of my life. Are you there? Bella. I know you. My best friend should have and confident. I'm so jealous you are someplace else. Happy without me. I know. I could should be now. I'm losing in my grasp on you. Oh, I'm watching you choose someone else. I never thought I'd hurt this much. Oh no. Am I losing you this time? Can't hold on to too tight. Don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands. No, it's hard to see you go in another's arms. Mm. Ah, she's this bro, that's just, this I am girl. going to beat you. Just who, who would you beat? Madam, calm down, girl. Is, is it not you again? Is it not you? You can't beat anything. Who told you that? I don't know how to play again. Who told you that? You better close your mouth and stop bragging. Wait, Shit, you... look. <laughs> That's close. Let me bragging. come down. Just wait. Let me move now. Look at this guy. You miss the ball, you don't miss the leg. So you go and you stop bragging. It's you I'm telling you to go. Is there anybody else here? Yeah, yeah. Four of us. Um, Harry, 
um, I couldn't sleep and I didn't want to wake you up. <sighs> Explain. You were asleep when I woke up. So just like that, you and Madame Bella have settled. After she insulted and belittled you right in front of me. Bella understands me. Besides, she apologized to me. Oh, it's only Bella that understands you. Only Madame Bella knows all the weak buttons of... <laughs> I'll get you she's bad, oh, man. What is the issue now? What is it? I never said she's the only one who understands me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. You didn't travel again? No. Okay. Good morning, Donald. Hi, Sophia. You didn't travel? No. I missed my flight. The trip has been postponed. Oh, okay. Um, when is lunchtime? Should I come to your office so we can go eat together? Not today, Sophia. Maybe some other time. Okay. See you later. All right. <sighs> Even the boss comes late. I really wanted to meet with your mom. But I don't know why both of us can't do that without Donald. Babe, I explained this to you. Listen, if Donald doesn't come with me, he's going to get angry and I don't want to hurt his feelings. Listen, the next time when I'm ready to travel to go see my mom, we can go together, okay? But then again, I am glad you guys spoke on the phone. Yeah, your mom was actually friendly over the phone. She likes you. Are you sure? Or you're just trying to patronize me, Bella? Harry, my mother does not pretend and I could tell from the way she responded to you. Ah, mm -hmm. which means she approves of our relationship. Oh yes, she approves of it. You know, I told her about you when we started dating. Mm. Okay, I think I know what to do. Um, what do you want to do? What do you think it is I want to do? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, it's a surprise. Wait, which means you cannot tell me at all? If I tell you, it's not going to be a surprise anymore, sir. So. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I can't wait for this surprise then. Me too. Hmm. Uh -huh. Now I'm very curious. Uh, I need to just bring that um, stuff. I'm going to do there that you won't see coming. Oh, my goodness. This suspense is killing me. Oh, my God. I should not going to tell me. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> okay, it's not every range. I know you must be wondering why I called you to meet me. Yes. You see, um, I understand your relationship with Bella, the history. But you see, the relationship between Bella and I has been the best for me so far in my life. Which is why I want to appreciate her for loving me, for being faithful and incredible. Don't get me wrong, I know you're very close to her. But I have decided to buy her a car. For real? Yeah, for real. You want to buy her a car? 
Wow, that's that, that's a great move, bro. <laughs> that's great. So how do I come in? So um, I would have easily reached out to a car dealer to pick up a random car, but on the second thought, I say, don't know this close to Bella, and um, he would be in the best place to pick a better car for Bella, so as to surprise her. You made the right decision. And I'm really grateful for considering my opinion and picking the car that you think Bella would love. You see, I've known Bella all my life. Bella is a big fan of SUVs, so I know the exact car that you buy for her. Okay. You see, I made the right decision on reaching out Definitely. to you. <laughs> and one more thing. I would like you to be there when I present this car to her. If I'm not there, who'll be there? And you can come with Ruth also. Definitely, I would. <laughs> thanks, man. Nice right one, bro. Great move, by the way. Great move. <laughs> thanks, 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 thanks. Okay, let's cheers to... Cheers to that. To um, SUV, right? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Close your eyes. My eyes are closed. Be patient, yeah. my dear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what? The last step. Okay, wait. Yes. Wait, because what, what's going on? Bella, though? if you open your eyes, I'll jump. Okay. Yes. So turn this way. Like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then if I say open in three, two, one, and open. past few months has been exceptional for me and a special one for me indeed i've been longing to do this so i don't know how to do it but since we are here i decided to do it you're special i bless that i met you you brought peace joy to my life my family everything i can't imagine a future without you so bella samson Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. There's no juice, I'll buy juice tomorrow. 
There's water. It's hard to see you go. It's hard to see you go in another's arms. All of my life, I know you. My best friend, safe and confident. Harry knows what he wants, you know? Yeah. Donald, what do you want? Of course, I, I want the good things of life, just like everyone else. What exactly are your plans for my life in your future? Plans. That's what I said. Wait. Is this about what happened in Harry's house? Don't. Is it the car? Don't. Or the proposal? Don't put words into my mouth. I am not putting words in your mouth. You're the one insinuating this. You've never asked me what my plans for you are. Why now? You know what you're supposed to do right now, don't you? Donald, you know the right thing to do. Do it. And stop acting ignorant. Stop wasting my precious time. I'm so jealous. Tell me I want the good things of Am I might not a good thing of skin? Happy with so am I not a good thing of life? Am I not a good thing of life? I'm asking me. What are the good things? Good, good, good. in my grasp on you I'm watching you choose someone else I never thought I'd hurt this much oh no am I losing you why is Donald not picking up my calls hold on to two times don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands no it's hard to see you go in none other's arms. Mm. Donald. What happened? I've been calling you and not picking up my calls. I didn't send you text messages and I saw that you read them and you did not respond to them. I was busy. Busy doing what? I said I was busy. Do I have to explain in details? Um, Donald, hold on. Have I done something wrong to you unintentionally? Oh, really? Have you done something wrong to me? No, that is why I said unintentionally. I beg, I beg, if you don't have anything important to say to me, I'd like to go to my room and sleep. Sleep by this time? Mind your business, madam. Look, I am finding it really hard to understand this annoying attitude of yours towards me. Arrogance stinks. Attitude sucks. If I stay here for one more minute with you, we're going to kill each other. Yeah, whatever. And beat your husband for me. Well, beat your wife for me too, nonsense. Is something bothering you? Babe. What's wrong? It's Donald. What about Donald? Is he sick? Maybe that would have been better. I would have been taking care of him in the hospital. Did you guys get into a fight? We had a little argument that almost turned into an altercation. I mean, he just, I don't know, he's just been giving me an attitude. And did you have a dialogue with him? Yes, I did, but he's not saying anything. He just wants to quarrel. Okay, do you want me to have a conversation with him? Oh no, um, babe, don't worry about it, okay? I will sort it out myself. You know, I don't like it when you stress yourself or think too much. 
And you don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? It's okay. I love you. I love you too. So now please, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel now? Better, of course. <laughs> Ruth, it's really so kind of you to come check up on me. Especially when Donald is misbehaving. Really? Did he tell you why? He's not saying anything. Hmm. I didn't know you and Donald have issues. Well, we are actually not having any issues per se because like, we fight and settle almost immediately. But I don't know what this is. You know, I told my mother about it and then she called him, but then he said he's fine. Then he is fine. Don't worry. Look, Donald is not fine. Something is definitely eating him up. And I don't know why he doesn't want to talk to me about it. We tell each other everything. Please. I'm not here to talk about my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I know. How far the wedding? You haven't told me anything. Girl, don't worry. I will keep you updated when I start planning. Please, please. But on the other hand, I met Harry's family and my goodness, they were so accommodating. I chose right, girl. I You're very lucky. Thank you. Lucky girl. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I just remembered something. Okay. Um, can I ask, ask you a question? Sure, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, it might seem... What was the reason um, your ex-boyfriend broke up with you? Um, well, um, he wanted me to cut ties with Donald. In fact, he had told me to my face that he hated our friendship. He even threatened to end our relationship if he ever saw me with Donald again. Yeah, you should have asked Donald. He would have told you about it. Do not knew about it. Oh yes, we tell each other everything. And you know, my ex at the time had so many female friends and I had no issues with it at all. Like I expected him to trust me with Donald, just like I trusted him with his friends. The day he broke up with me was the day I caught him sleeping with one of his so-called female friends. It's a lie. My darling. I'm so sorry. Oh, please don't be sorry. Harry came along. He did. <laughs> he did. Oh my gosh, like he did. Harry is just amazing. Right. He's amazing. Honestly. The journey of forever. I'm so sorry. Girl, don't be sorry. Harry came along. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you guys are just gonna take it to Girl forever. Girl, Harry is just something else. He is too amazing i swear <sighs> gosh no 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 just tell me why did you why you lied can you just own up and be a man about it can you own up you had no right to ask bella about it i wonder why she told you you knew why he broke up with her you knew but she lied why bella is getting married Mm -hmm. Her ex has moved on. Mm -hmm. So why are you bringing this up? Why are you giving Bella attitude? Why are you being mean to Bella? Why? It's between Bella no, and no, I. No, 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 stop it out. It's between you and Bella. I put it to you, Donald, you are in love with her. Are you in love with Bella? I'm 100%. I'm certain that you love Bella. Donald, you love Bella. Excuse me. Excuse you, where? When Harry proposed to Bella, you were angry. You wanted Bella for yourself. True or false? Really? True or false? You do not know what you're talking about. I'm happy for Bella. Happy hour. <laughs> I do not want us to fight about this. Please. I was planning to present this to you by the weekend. But I just feel like this is the right moment. Present what? Don't tell me that's an engagement ring. Is this not what you wanted? What do you want? 
What what do you what do you want in life with me, Donald? What do you want? Tell me. Why are you such a difficult person? Hey. Why is it so hard for someone to please you? Oh, I just asked one question. Why is it so hard for you to answer it? Admit it. It's because you are in love with Bella. You are in love with Bella. That is yes, because you are stupid. Everything about this whole thing is stupid. What? I have been stupid. I have been with you all this while, just being stupid, showcasing my stupidity. This entire thing is over. It is over. This. Get your two your stupid hands off me. Get it off me. Just stupid self being in this stupid house. Stupid dog. Have you been able to send the mail to all the staff? Yes. Okay, good. What about the meeting with um, Voyeur's investment company? It has been scheduled for next week. Good one. That is all. Okay. And um... Good morning, Good sir. morning, morning. Donal. For the past few weeks, Mr. Donal Badmos have been giving these cold vibes towards everyone around him. I noticed it too. I wonder what is wrong with him. Mr. Badmos is a nice man. He's friendly too. He has never been like this. I don't think he's happy. Come in. Hi, Sophie. Look, I, I stayed away because I didn't want to sound like a gossip. But I feel you need to talk to someone. I don't need to talk to anyone. Donald, I don't know you personally, but there is something off about you. Okay, let's clear this. I do not need anything from you. You can talk to me. I'm a good listener. I'm fine, Sophie. Okay, I'm going to get a drink before I get home. I don't know if we can go to a bar and talk. It's fine. I understand. It's a no. Okay, bye. Sophie, wait. Bella and I, we did everything together. When I lost my father, we got closer. That day, when I saw her boyfriend put a ring on her finger, I realized that I might lose her forever. Without her, you believe you will feel alone again? Yes. When I lost my father, Bella was there for me. When I lost my mother, Bella stood by me. Now she's getting married to another man. I just... I'm scared. What are you scared of? Marriage changes people. It can change the dynamics of our friendship. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose our friendship. But I feel like she's... sleeping away. I think I know why you feel that way. I'm an orphan and I don't have friends. You see, when you suggested that I make friends, I felt like it was the right time for me to. And so I, I tried reaching out to you, but 
you kept pushing me away. I know. And I'm sorry. This is not about me. It's about you and your best friend. Well, I don't really know her, but I don't believe Bella would change when she gets married. You see, true friendship is rare. And I don't want you to lose it. <laughs> and the only reason that I gave her space is because I wanted to know how it would feel if she did the same to me. <sighs> Sophia, it hurts. It, it hurts so bad. Donald, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the way you feel. Do not punish yourself by staying away from her. Look, know your place now. There is someone you need to have a conversation with. I understand that there is a breach between you and Bella. I had wanted to interfere, but she asked me not to, which I respect her decision. But I am glad that you came here to speak with me about it. I don't want to lose my best friend. That is all I ask. As a husband, do you think I would deny her of the friendship? Yes. You would have a hold on her. She would become your wife. She would have to do everything that you ask. She would become my wife. And not someone I can toss around. Listen, Bella's happiness is my priority in life. And I wouldn't deny her of that. How do I know that? What is the assurance? Donald. To be very honest with you, I no longer see you as a friend to Bella. I now see you as her brother. Thank you. Bella loves you. And it will make her very happy to have you stand by my side as my best man. Yes. Are you asking me to be your best man? Oh, it would be an absolute honor to have you as my best man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. I appreciate this. Yeah, sure, sure. But you take good care of my best friend. Sure, She's all I have. I will. I will. Congrats again. Yeah, great hands. <laughs> so that's a lot of work. On every day of work. That's in our land. Of course, with time, I'll teach you my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would you think I would change when I get married? I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking straight. Yes, you were not thinking straight. The lash was bad. <laughs> you mean so much to me. You're my best friend. And nothing can change that. I am not just your best friend. I am your brother. Yes, you are. And look, I am so sorry about Ruth. I had no idea she broke up with you. Mm. Well, I'll be fine. I'll get over her. Come here. <laughs> Like two peas in a pod, <laughs> so inseparable. So funny. What we she is a bird, unbreakable. You heard. <laughs> there are certain lines. <laughs> that you about the atmosphere, you know, nature when it calls, the beauty, it's the peace, peaceful, the smell of the ocean, mm -hmm. the water. Mm. <laughs> very oh refreshing. my god, very refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> I like it here. Yeah. I know you would. <laughs> Sorry, Sophie. This won't take long. Oh, it's um. I'll just take a stroll. Hi. Never knew, never knew 
that I loved you this much. Hi. Hi. We don't play to you. Man. I know Bella got married. Yeah. Bella got married to the love of her life, Harry. So, so what exactly are you sorry for? You have nothing to be sorry about. I mean, what? So many things. I have so many things to be sorry about. I offended you. I humiliated you. I accused you numerous times of being in love with Bella. Numerous times. And those assumptions were wrong. I feel like I projected my insecurities onto you because I was trying to protect, you know, my boyfriend's interest. Long story short. I tried so many times to make you understand that my relationship with Bella our bond was just very platonic. But you never believed me. I believe you now. I do. And, um... I hope, I want, I want us to be friends after all this. Friends? I'm also sorry for what I put you through. So friends we are. Okay, so what are you doing tomorrow? You want to hang out? Absolutely, yes. Okay. But I'm traveling to the States tomorrow. So what am I studying? And I hope that you know, we can be friends and try and stay in touch. Yeah. You're friends already. <laughs> and I'm really happy for you. I thought I told you. No, I, I, don't, I don't remember you telling me, but I'm happy that you're following your studies, which is good. I never say never. Yeah. You should always be in touch. <laughs> I just want to say that you're a good man. And you have a good heart. And like I'm honored to have been loved by you in this lifetime. Sorry for making everything about myself. <laughs> That's just all my thank you for loving me. It's hard to see you. Thank you for loving me. In another's arms. So friends we are now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A hug is better. It's hard to see you go. Okay. It's hard to see you go in another's arms. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Never will be. I'm so jealous you are someplace else happy without me. Oh no. I'm losing in my grasp on you. I'm watching you choose someone else. I never thought I'd hurt this much. Oh no, am I losing you this time? Can't hold on to too tight. Don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands, no. It's hard to see you go in none other's arms. I'm so jealous you are someplace else happy without me oh no
losing in my grasp on you. I'm watching you choose someone else. I never thought I'd hurt this much. Oh no, am I losing you this time? Can't hold on to too tight. Don't wanna suffocate your heart in my hands, no. It's hard to see you go in none other's arms. to see you go It's hard to see you go in none other's arms All of my life I know you My best friend safe haven't confident And I'm so jealous you 